Here we want to complete each table of values. Now our given equation is 3x plus 4y equals 24. And so let's look at our table. So first we're given an x value of 0, and we need to find the corresponding y value. So we'll just start out with 3 times, here we're going to plug in a 0 for the x, then plus 4y equals 24. Okay, so this will be 0. So you'll basically just have 4y equals 24, and you solve for y by dividing both sides of the equation by 4. And so we're going to get y equals 6. All right, so when x is 0, y is going to equal 6. We're just going to put a 6 in right there. All right, so next we're given a value of negative 6 for y. So that means we're going to plug in a negative 6 for y in our equation. And we're going to solve for x. Okay, so I plugged in a negative 6 here for y. So 4 times negative 6 would be negative 24. So you would get 3x plus negative 24 equals 24. Okay, we're going to add 24 to both sides of the equation. And so we're going to get 3x is equal to 48. And now we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 3 so that we can solve for x. And so we're going to get x equals 16. Okay. So we're going to fill in our x value over here with a 16. All right, our next given value was a 4 for x. So we're going to plug in a 4 for the x and just rewrite the equation down here. 3x plus 4y equals 24. Okay, so we're going to be plugging in a 4 for the x and we're going to solve for y. So we'll have 3 times 4 plus 4y equals 24. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12, so you have 12 plus 4y equals 24. All right, we're going to subtract 12 from both sides of the equation. Okay. That'll be 0. 24 minus 12 is 12. So this will be 4y equals 12. And we can just divide both sides of the equation by 4. And so we'll get y equals 3. Okay, so we'll come back up here and fill this in as a 3. All right, so when x equals 4, y is going to be 3. All right, so our final given value is a negative 15 for y. So let's go back down here and plug in a negative 15 for y. So we'll have 3x plus 4 times negative 15, and this should be equal to 24. Okay, 4 times negative 15 is negative 60. So we'll have 3x plus negative 60 equals 24. Add 60 to both sides of the equation. That'll be 0. 24 plus 60 is 84. So we'll have 3x equals 84. And so we're going to just divide both sides of the equation by 3 now. So you'll have x equals, and then 84 divided by 3 is 28. Right, so x equals 28. All right, so let's go back up here and we'll plug that in. So now we have a completed table of values, right? When x equals 0, y is going to equal 6. When x equals 16, y is going to equal negative 6. When x equals 4, y is going to equal 3. And when x equals 28, y is going to equal negative 15.